Hi, welcome to Paranormal Captivity. I am so excited to show you guys something today. Last month, I was stuck in bed, threw my back out, felt terrible, and this girl named Rose messaged me about a haunted doll that was having experiences at her house, and she wanted to kind of ask my opinion on it. We got to talking, and one of my guilty pleasures is looking up haunted dolls on eBay. So I got on this whole kick where we're talking about haunted dolls on eBay, I'm looking through eBay, she's looking on eBay, and she's like, hey, if I found a haunted doll for you, on eBay and wanted to send it to you, would that be okay? And I was like, yes, please, that would be amazing. So, she sent me a haunted doll for Christmas. And here she is. Isn't she so cool? Her name is Lorelai, and she had a story, a backstory that the uh, owner had listed out on eBay. Basically what they said was, she is either a child or an elemental energy, Either way, it's kind of uh, playful and mischievous and you can't really predict what she's going to do. And she sometimes will have the smell of flowers associated with her. You see, she's just a little tiny. She's also missing an arm, so nothing on this side. It's just kind of like pointy where it broke. Uh, but yeah, this is Lorelei. I had my mind freaking blown by this doll already on multiple occasions. Um, so... The day I got her, I put her upstairs on my vanity, and that's where she's gonna live, so that way she can still see everything in the room and not be stuck in the cabinet, right? I'd had this doll in the house maybe an hour. Maybe. Like, that's, that's pushing it. And I heard this weird sound, and I was, I was downstairs at the time, and it sounded to me like marbles, like if I had a handful of marbles, and I threw them across a hardwood floor and that they rolled one direction and then rolled back. That's what it sounded like right down the middle of my house. Not like against a neighboring apartment. I've lived in this house six years almost, I think. So I know the sounds of my neighbors and I know the normal sounds of my house. This was a sound I had never heard before. And so I was like, what? This is like way too fast to be experiencing something, right? So. That's the only thing that happened that day, but I was already, like, amazed that something happened while, you know, she was brand new to the house. I had Sammy, my cousin, she's been in a few videos, uh, over at my house the other night, and we heard the same kind of sound, except this time, instead of it being more marbly sounding, it kind of almost sounded like, like, feet or, like, animal toenails, you know how, like, animal toenails on hard surfaces, like clickety-clack. It was kind of like that, and in case you didn't know, my whole house is carpeted except for the kitchen downstairs, like that area. So I wouldn't have anything for there to be sounds being made like that up here anyway, but we heard it right down the center of the house again. And she was like, what the F is that? And I'm like, uh, I got a haunted doll, so it could be her. And she's like, what? So yeah. Uh, we also heard another creak, like, creak pop sound from upstairs that night. Not 100% sure if that was related. Also just hearing a lot of weird sounds. Um, like last night, Alex and myself and the dog were hanging out in the bedroom, and we heard what sounded like someone walk up our stairs. Loud. Like, in our unit. And we just kind of shrugged it off, like, maybe somebody was just really heavy-footed in the neighboring apartment, but it really did sound like it was in our house. Like, but the sounds coming from the bedroom while she's in the bedroom definitely have me curious uh, to see what other activity is going to happen. So I wanted to introduce you all to Lorelai and uh, make sure that you guys know that I'm going to be keeping you posted on any other activity that happens since she's joined our family and been hanging out. I also wanted to do an experiment today. Today's experiment will be with the Spiritus Ghost Box app. The creator of it, named Keith, he had messaged me regarding giving it a try. And some really reputable people in the paranormal world have actually used this app and say it's worth using and trying. Steve Huff and Nick Groff, both. Are, are big fans of this app. So I personally haven't watched any videos on it. I didn't want to have any clue what I was getting into or what to expect because I wanted my first reaction to the app to be genuine and I wanted all of my results on the app to be genuine. So I'm going to attempt to do a spirit box session with Lorelei and just see what happens. My phone screen's probably like really dirty. Okay. 
Spiritus Visual Gay Access. This is cool. Welcome to Spiritus. What? <laughs> I didn't know you would talk to me. Oh, I didn't mean to touch something. Oh, okay. So it looks like um, on here, there's four different channels that you can choose. And then intensity, light ambience, and dark ambience. I don't even know which one to start with. Lorelai needs to get up here so we can talk to her, right? Um, I guess we'll just try channel one uh, and go for it. Okay. Is anybody with me right now? Can I ask your name? Do you have something you want to say to me? Do you like living here? Can you say your name? What color are the shoes I'm wearing? Can you say the names of anybody else in the house? What state are we in right now? What city are we in? Where did you come from before here? Can you say the name of your last owners? Can you say the name of your last owners? Can you say the name of the girl who sent you to me? Can you tell me what you were like before? Do you have anything you want to say right now? Did my phone go silent? Okay, it went to a lock screen. <laughs> I don't care for a phaser. Can you hear me okay? Do you like communicating through this device? Are you ever going to smell like flowers for me? What flowers do you like to smell like? Can 
Do you like where I put you in the house? Is there somewhere else you'd rather be? I think I'm going to go. Do you have anything else you want to say? Thank you for talking to me. Did you have anything else you want to say before I go? Alright, I'm going to go. Have a good day. Do you want to say bye? Do you want to say goodbye? Goodbye! So that was uh, my first experience with the Spiritus Ghost Box app. So far I think it's really cool. I, I like all the different ways that you can do the sound and the variety of sounds that you get, how it's not just voices and how it comes at different intervals. Like, I really like that. I recommend for anybody doing any type of ghost box session, record yourself doing it because it goes so quickly and you can't really analyze what you're getting at the time that you're not sure what you get until afterwards. So, so far, first impression, I think it's pretty cool. Maybe this can be something I do again in the future with Lorelei, or maybe I'll bring this app with me on an investigation this year. Who knows? Thank you so much, Keith, for letting me know about your app. If you guys want to give it a try, I will list below the names that way you can search it in your app store and find it on your own. I do believe it was $12.99, but still, compared to like buying a ghost box, it's a really great savings. And if you get good results from it, you know, why not give it a try? So I hope you guys enjoyed meeting Lorelai and checking out the Spiritus Ghost Box. I know I did. I'm having a blast with her. And thank you again, Rose, for sending me her, like, coolest Christmas present ever. And whenever I actually checked the P.O. Box for Lorelai, I had something else in my P.O. Box, too, that I wanted to show you. One of my subscribers named Tori sent me this. Isn't that cool? She redid one of my thumbnails as fan art. Made me so happy. And then I actually posted this morning uh, some fan art that somebody did for me and sent me through Instagram. Still blows my mind. People want to draw me, uh, but I'm totally down with it. I think it's amazing. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Or if you didn't care for it, you can always leave a thumbs down. That way I can keep it in mind for next time. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and turn on notifications. That way you get notified every time I make an upload. I'm Kat, and this is Paranormal Captivity, and this is Lorelei. Have a strange day. Bye!